Yo, what's up, Gunpla fans? This is Kimmerman from Kimmerman Gunpla Studio, and uh, before I make a Gundam kit here, I just like to compliment uh, drinking coffee while doing Gunpla kits. It's a very nice thing to do here in uh, in life. Anyway, I have here a kit from. Motoroid Good Smile Company, which is uh, the Deer Stopper RXR from uh, the RPG game, I think. RPG game uh, Iron Saga. To be honest, I don't know anything about this Iron Saga, and uh, I'm not a game type person, that's why I don't know what kind of game is this actually. But uh, what I learn from researching about uh, this kit is uh, it came from that RPG game and I noticed that this kit has an appeal also and uh, at first I thought this was a Sinanju type of, uh, <laughs> of uh, model kit but uh, no I was wrong it's a different kit and it was released by Motoroid way back uh, 2021, I think. 2020. I don't know. It's uh, 2022. Yeah, I bought this from Happy Link Japan on December 2022, and uh, now uh, since I had too much backlog in my arsenal, now it's the time to finish all the 2002 backlogs. So let's check this kit out. So the box art here shows uh, the Deer Stalker, Deer Stalker RXR, and uh, at first glance, you will think that <laughs> this is a Gundam uh, suit or a suit from a Gundam series because it looks like Sinanju or uh, mono-eyed mecha models something like that and uh, in the box art we can see the deer stalker flying in the background and the background was uh, it's the sky yep. there are clouds and there's this uh, booster effect here and he is uh, wielding his big cannon here so it says here, Good Smile Company. The side of the box, you can see only a portion of the box art. Also here. And the back side of the box, we can see the front view and the rear view of the kit. Yep, there it is. Yeah, let's focus the camera. Yeah, we can see the front view, back view. Uh, without the shoulder armor on the left arm so this is how it looks like and we can see the flying pose of the deer stalker rxr like this okay so its main weapon here is the big cannon here i don't know what uh, it's called but uh I heard from one of the YouTuber viewers that this is a rail, rail cannon. And we can see the face, yes, the face looks like uh, or has a similarity with the Sinanju. And we can see all the accessories here. So these uh, clips here are the guns. I think these are floating guns, same like uh, in the Gundam series where um, the new Gundam or Witch from Mercury or the what do you call this Witch from Mercury Aerial Gundam and um, the Kanfu Saber such such weapon uh, looks like the Psycho Psycho Frame weapons or uh, the G bits bit system weapon something like that. I'm sorry, I'm not that uh, familiar with the weapons of uh, these Gundams because. Uh, I didn't watch most of the Gundam series, especially uh, especially the newer ones. Anyway, 
let's uh, open the box so I open already open this already and we can see this manual motoroid way of uh, motoroid way of packing things so there is this uh, manual here on uh, cellophane plastic we have here uh, a separate sheet for I think this is for the joint parts the leg parts maybe I don't know why motoroid separated it from the main manual anyway let's uh, put this aside okay. so I Notice that Motoroid included a stand for this kit, which is very nice, very nice to have because most Motoroid I have doesn't have a stand included, but this one they include the stand. So thank you, Motoroid. And uh, here in this runner, we can see the massive gun, the rail gun. He said the rail gun, so this is big. To be honest, this is big. It will consume most of uh, your shelf space because this is really big. Fuck, it's big. <laughs> anyway, we have here uh, white runners here. So this is for the armor pieces, I think, for the leg armor. We have here another white pieces. There's a pre-painted part here. I think this is for the face. Yes, this is the vi visor of the mecha model. We have a gray piece here for the torso. For uh, some inner frames. We have uh, purplish blue. Or let's say indigo. Indigo color. Uh, parts here for the armor pieces another indigo parts here for I think this is for the clips the bits or the psycho psycho frame weapons uh, I don't know how, how it's called in Deer's in uh, Iron Saga but let's just put some Gundam terminology like psycho frame or bits we have here gray, light gray parts for, um, I think this is for the foot, for the feet, um, the bits or armors, armor pieces. And we have here gray parts for the hands and uh, there is a stand included for the railgun. Because uh, based on the review I watched, the kit has a problem of uh, holding the railgun because it's really big. The right arm will suffer from the weight of that uh, weapon. So it's nice that Motoroid included this uh, stand for the cannon. So we are about to pose it. There is a uh, stand for, the, for that uh, weapon. And finally, we have here a uh, black runner here or a uh, matted black colored runner here for the inner frames. So as always, before we do the kit, let's have a quick review of the runners and the manual here. And uh, while reviewing, I like drinking coffee because this is a nice thing in life to do. So uh, Motoroid here is very excellent in doing manuals because they put it or print it in color, color form. So we have here a colored uh, illustration of how things done here and uh, it's easy to understand because of uh, the color codes. Of the manual anyway uh, we can see here same as the box art and uh, the front 
and rear view of the kit and the flying poses of the kit and I noticed that the kit has this water slide decals the kit doesn't have any stickers which is very nice a plus factor for the kit unlike Bandai the boring Bandai who always put stickers on their fucking kits anyway Motoroid uh, did this nicely because they just include this two pieces of uh, water slide decals to be attached on the uh, left uh, I don't know what it's called uh, it's like a wing or shoulder armor here anyway uh, I'll think about if I will uh, include this sticker here or water slide decals anyway let's go to the runners here we have here the dark runners here the black runners or gray don't know how it will look like in this video but for me this is like a matted gray colored runner so this is a stand for the rail guns so this is runner H we have here runners G and runner J for uh, black colored runners or dark gray or matted gray whatsoever color is this uh, runner and we have here runner i here for the inner frames we have here runner b and runner f for uh, inner frames and uh, the torso to be honest the torso here is very boring because uh, it looks like a, a big high grade it has a resemblance to a high grade model kit of bandai where uh, the manufacturer becomes lazy on doing uh, details so we expect that this kit has a block block type of torso there there are no bends no uh, crunches so it's a stiff block block only something like that anyway moderoid is like a high grade model of Bandai equivalent to a high grade model of Bandai where their kits the only difference is their kits is larger than the high grade of Bandai anyway so much for that we go to uh, runner L here we have here uh, dirty white colored runners and uh, runner K here same dirty white color runners we have here runner A with the pre-painted part for the visor for the face of uh, the mecha. We have here runner E. So uh, it's also dirty, dirty white colored runner. And uh, we have here runner N and runner M for a uh, light gray colored runner. So we go to the indigo color parts. So this is runner P and um, runner O, runner D. I think this is for the clips for the uh, for the shoulder pieces like that. And we have here runner C. Yep, indigo colored runners. Again, we have here uh, big chunky pieces of plastic for the rail cannons, and this is runner R. Runner R here. Yep, you can see it. Runner R and the big rail gun runner, which is uh, runner Q. So this will consume much space in your shelf if you display it. Um, in a pose pose mode but uh, if you'll just display it on a halted mode maybe you can save uh, some space for your shelf anyway so much for that we'll see you next time and uh, I'll build this kit and have some uh, review on the articulations and uh, 
details on uh, and also on uh, possibility and difficulty okay thanks for that see you next time